Hi, it's Rob. Welcome to Longevity Learning Lab. And uh, this is part two of our innovator series. And now I showed you the, the stick welding end of it. Now I'm going to show you the TIG welding part of it. And uh, it's a really nice unit. And uh, with the TIG welding setup, you've got the, the really nice big plugs that will go in there, 14 point plugs on both settings. And even with the plasma, it's got the, the same, same plugs. I like these, they're nice, heavy duty. Almost, almost military. Okay, with the, with the foot pedal here, nice foot pedal, there's no control on the side, but then again, it depends on what kind of foot pedal you want. You can order those. And then with the TIG welder, I like the TIG welder, the, the Stinger, because for one thing, it's got the, the nice little swivel base here, and then on the neck, you can also bend that a little bit. You know, don't go too far with it. And uh, to get those little hard to reach places, and then on your control buttons, you can take this little button off and you can set it up for like if you want the slide on it or another knob and it, it works nice. I like it. And then uh, let me show you how to set this up here. It's a ba basic TIG welding thing. You know, you've got your, your collet body and your collet and then uh, you've got your cup and you've got your cap and you've got your tungsten. And then I'll go ahead, let's go ahead and set this up, and then we'll come to the control panel and show you how to set that up. We're gonna do the DC TIG welding for like the steel part of it, mild steel, stainless steel, and other materials too, copper. And so yeah, let me get this set up and I'll show you how to do that. Okay, now we're gonna set up for the, the TIG torch. So what we do first, we'll turn the machine on, give it a chance to warm up. See how we're still set at the, the stick welding set. Okay, it's a nice TIG welder, or a stinger I mean, excuse me. And what we do, first off, we just take our collet body, put it right on in. It's your basic TIG setup. And the cap, or the cup. Then we got our collet and our tungsten and then our cap. And I'm using the lengthenated tungsten right now because I can still use it on, on the stainless or the mild steel. It's just it happened to be handy. And I can use it mostly it's for the aluminum, but and then you go. And then your control knobs right here, and I'll show you how to do that with the, without the foot pedal. All your controls will be right up here, and it's all right, the parameters are up here on the screen. So that's set up. Then we're gonna come to the other end of that, and we're gonna hook, the, hook up this end. Okay, now I've already got my ground set up. So we'll take our other big old plug. Now in the plug itself, there's a little slot on there. And if you look down here, you'll see the other little part that the slot will go onto. So don't get that confused. You gotta make sure you put it in there. That way all those points will line up and then you'll fit it in. So let's do that. There we go. Right there. See, it's not tricky, it's just, I don't, don't, there we go. There we go. Make sure that's seated in there nice. You don't want to force it. And what I do for myself, I make sure I get this in there first because the other uh, lead for your stinger is kind of close. You don't want to hit your knuckles and stuff like that. There we go. That's in there. Then we'll take our airline. And this is a 5 eighths of an inch right-handed thread. We'll tighten that up. This you want to have a little bit tighter just for the fact that it is gas. You can put tongue, the Teflon on there if you want. And then our other lead. Okay, that's set up. Now, let's go to the control panel. Okay, now here we got our control panel. Now I'm still set on the DC. 
Okay, so I want to go ahead here first and bring it up to the TIG welder. So now we're set on TIG welding. Okay, now we'll go over here to our second program. So that'll be program two. Okay, so now we're starting up all over. So now we're onto the TIG weld. We're on the two task, two T setup. Okay, so that'll be for your foot pedal. So we're gonna bring it down to the 4T, and now we're gonna be using just the stinger. So then we'll go ahead and we'll set our amperage control. We'll keep it kind of low. I'd say, yeah, 100, nice round number. And then we'll set it, okay? Now, our, we don't have to worry about this gauge right here because it'll go, like for our, our test, it'll stay straight up to our current and go until we're done to our bottom current. So we get our, our pre-flow set. So here we hit our cursor. Okay, that's our post-flow, it's five seconds, okay. There we go. We got our amperage set. We'll go back over here. That's our end amps, that's our hot amps. And there's our post-flow. Our post-flow is about five seconds, okay? So we'll leave it like that. Our amperage is right there at 30. We want a higher up. And that'll stay right, we'll go, we'll start right off at about 70. We'll set it. There we go, and then our amps will be, go up to 100, right? Then we'll come on back down through here. And then we'll set this down about 50, yeah, okay, 50, I could, I'll go even lower, about 40. And then our post flow will set, it will stay at, at five again, like that, we're good to go. Now, the pulse is off, we don't need to worry about our wave, we're set at DC, that's our second program. So whenever you wanna have that set up, you're good to go on your program. And then we're set here with uh, the, the high frequency, and you can have the scratch, the lift, but the lift is, is better for your uh, striking the arc on a stick welder. So let's go ahead and do some welding. Okay, now I've got our TIG torch here. Now I've got it set on the 2T setup. So that means I'm not gonna be using the foot pedal, I'm gonna be using the control button right here. So you have your on button, and then here you got a little knob and that'll give you your amperage control right here. So it's a percentage of what I've got on the, the panel of the machine. So for instance, I've got the machine set at 100 amps. So if I wanna decrease that while I first start, here's all my control right here, just like the foot pedal. So let's go ahead and uh, run a bead on the DC. I'm just running some stainless steel right now. It's a 308 or 304. And um, so let's see what it looks like. Okay, let's see how this is going to run for us. I'm running a little hot right now. That's not too bad. I get a little better. But remember, now you gotta remember, this is an air-cooled um, stinger. So it's, you can't really weld it forever and ever and ever. Then you stay there a little bit, and you come out, and it comes out not too bad. Where's my at? There's my camera. There we go. 
and that's your DC. But remember, these are air-cooled, they're not the water-cooled, but we do have the pumps for you. So there's your DC. Okay, well that's, that's how you're, we just use our stinger control on there. Now when you want to use the foot pedal, you just plug it in the same spot. Don't worry about the plug that's already on the stinger hanging. You know, make it safe, put it away, but don't, you know, you have to unplug it to put the foot pedal plug in there. And then you, all you have to do is just set it from the one button to the 4T, and then you can use that. And then uh, your, your second program will already be there, so you don't have to mess with any of your other controls. Just go from this, from that. And uh, that's your DC. Now the next one will be the AC, and then uh, I'll show you how to do that because that's a little bit more involved because I'm going to show you the pulse and uh, all that. I'm Rob. We'll see you next time, Longevity Learning Lab. Bye.